Smart elevator, the ability to quickly climb to any floor. Let's arrange a barter deal. Today, I will teach you how to easily make a smart elevator with any number of floors and you, and you will like me for it. Agreed. Well, let's start. Today, I will show you everything using the example of a four-story elevator, but I will explain everything so simply and clearly that you can build at least a hundred-story elevator. The elevator will be fully operational it will not be possible to break it because we will make double protection against accidental clicks. So, each of you can make the elevator body whatever you want, but I will give you recommendations. I advise you to make a through elevator, or even if you do not make through, for example, here you put walls. Then you still leave one wall open because here we will have buttons that is on the second, third, fourth floor, and so on each floor. Also, if you leave a through wall here, then you do the mechanisms on the other side. There is nothing to do from behind, because we will most likely have a rodstone signal transmission from behind, so that we understand which floor the elevator is on. By the way, I recommend marking each floor with its own color. So my first floor will be white, the second yellow, the third blue, and the fourth black. So it will be easier to understand what to do next. So, we have built our structure, what do we do next? In one block from the elevator cab, we put the shaft of the portal crane, we put it up to the last floor of our elevator. We put the gantry crane chassis on it, output power, and put 11 regulated chain mechanisms. We attach six consecutive gear switches to them, power it all as we please, but I advise you to put six more regulated chain mechanisms so that everything is powered at once. Why did we do this? The bottom line is that I have a four-story elevator, which means the cabin will be able to make six different movements, up one floor, down one floor, up two floors, down two floors, up three floors, and down three floors. If you had, for example, a five-story elevator, you would add four more floors up and down. We put a wireless redstone signal transmitter to each of the sequential gear switches. You can give them any kind of cleanliness, but I'll leave it the way my elevator will move. We have the colors of all our floors, and on the Ryov signal transmitters, I set the frequency like this. We have the first floor, and if he goes all the way to the first floor, then I put two white wool. Next, if he wants to drive up once, then I put from white to yellow wool, that is, from white to yellow one up. If I have to go down alone, I'll leave a white yellow one. This down denotes type. It's up, it's down. Further, if we need three up, then I also designate white, blue, that is, one, two, three. Also from below low, white, blue, from white, blue, from blue, white more precisely, down. And here, I put the last one, two black ones, because we get to the black one once. And we present a stone signal contact to the elevator cab, so that we understand which floor the elevator is on. We put the contacts of the stone signal to the cabin, be sure to glue it. By the way, we also glue the cabin, don't forget. We glue the whole cabin together. Then, we put the contacts of the signal table on each floor like this so that he understands. Here we break the blocks so that nothing hinders. We put a sticky piston here. We put a block and a reston torch. And here we put a wireless signal transmitter. Put it into communication mode and put it clean. For example, I will make two contacts of this signal. So, we do on each floor with the same signal source. That is, here we put a sticky piston. Here we put a block, let's even yellow. So we have a yellow floor. And here, we put the wireless transmission of a simple signal and also make the same purity. So we do on every floor. Why? We will have, when we press one of the buttons, we will have a signal transmitted, I will then show further. And this signal will reach here. When we press this button, this signal transmitter will move away. That is, while the elevator is going, it will not touch them. What is it for? And in order that when we were driving and pressed the buttons here, but there will be buttons here, they will not work, because if they work, then while this one is working, and we will press, let's say this one works, if they work too, one of them will just break. And then, it's a small matter, to program the elevator. It sounds complicated, but it's not. I'll explain everything now. If everything is easy with the first and last floors, and the elevator can get there from any floor. If we let it go four down or four up, 
Then if we need to go to the third floor, and the cabin is on the first, how does the elevator know how many floors it needs to go, and in which direction, that is why we will make a program. If the elevator is on the first floor, and we called on the third, then it goes to up. If the elevator is on the fourth, and we called it on the third, then it will go down alone. How to do it? Yes, it's just as easy. I'll tell you everything now. To begin with, we will put buttons on all floors. Put the signal transmission buttons behind these buttons, and then we will designate all this. As let's say we call the first floor, this is a button and white wool, then we call the second floor, it's a button and yellow wool. We call the third floor, it's a button and blue wool. And we call the fourth floor, it's a button and black wool. And then, we build a system that I called a comb. Why do we need it? Here, we put a wireless signal transmission, and here we conduct a redstone signal. At the ends of this signal, we put repeaters. Why all this? This is our first floor call button. The button is white wool. When we press the button, this thing is activated. Now we need to do how. First, we put protection against unnecessary squeezes, and we have it. Yellow wool, blue wool, black wool. Next, we put a sticky piston over each of these wool, and also hold it like this, like this and like this. And you can put it all together like this. We put such a thing here, and send a signal to all pistons. Where we put the contact, this signal stone from below is here, here you need to put blocks. Here we put the wireless transmitters of the redstone signal, and on one of the transmitters, we put what is transmitted to us. That is, this is the first floor, so we put redstone and white wool. If we put redstone and yellow wool on the second one, if the third one, we put redstone and blue wool, if the fourth floor is redstone and black wool. And on the second transmission of the signal, we put any frequency. The main thing is that it is the same everywhere. I will have repeaters. And here, we put exactly these repeaters and switch to receiving the signal. What's going on? We have everything turned on. This is right, because our elevator is at the station. When our elevator is standing, we can transmit a signal. When our elevator is going, we cannot transmit a signal. That is what happens, I press the button, and one contact is disconnected from the other, all these pistons rise. And even if another button is pressed, the restun signal will not be transmitted here, because it is transmitted through the block. It will be empty here, nothing will be transmitted. Thus, we have made a second protection, from no need to click. What do we do next? We do signal, signal, repeater, 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 and do the same thing. Yellow, blue, black, sticky pistons. We put white wool here. And now we put HUD. So, 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 I've messed up everything here right now because you need to put this signal first and then wireless transmission of a simple signal and only then put cleanliness. What is it for? This is the if mechanism. If we have the yellow wool lowered, it will be lowered if we have an elevator on the second floor. That is, if we have a red stone signal and yellow wool here it is a red stone signal and yellow wool, then this wool will fall. If we have a blue one, that is on the third floor. If there is a black one, let's switch it all, then we will have these blocks standing. And Dostoon will transmit the signal. So the ration signal will be transmitted to all three lines, but only the one where we have a floor will be triggered. And then we determine here. Here we put the piston one up. We don't know if it's up or down yet. Let's check with the button. It's down, so we put one up like this, and here it goes up one up. By the way, I advise you to set the speed to 48. Thus, this transmitter means to us that we have to go down for down. 1, 2, 3, 4. We count how many blocks we have on one floor, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. And we will have this platform as the fifth, that is 5. Since we have 4 floors, we multiply 4 by 5 and get 20. But we still pass 3 floors, not 4, so 15. We put 15 up, 15 down more precisely, because this is our descent. And this one, since it's up, we put 15 up. 15 up, push. And so he went up exactly 15. Then, according to the same logic, we put, if this is us down, then this is us down too. We put the piston 5 down, because 5 is our threshold. Here, we bet 5 up, here we bet 10. 
It's down with us, it's up with us. We put 10 up, and here we put 10 down. Yes, thus we succeed. It's 3 up, it's 1 up, it's 2 up, it's 3 down. What do we do next? We put, if we have an elevator on the second floor, and we call it on the first, how much should it travel? Then, from the second to the first, he has to drive one down. So we put white wool and yellow wool, that is, one down. If we have him on the third floor, he has to drive two down, that is, we put a white and a blue one. If he stands on the fifth, he should drive three down. We put two white ones. Also, do not forget to switch all transmitters here to the receiving signal. And now we click on the first floor, and our elevator arrives on the first floor. We have to put such a scheme for each floor and build wool in accordance with the floors that we need. That is, if we are on the second floor, we put white wool because we can come from the first floor, the third and the fourth. We can come to the third floor from the first, second and fourth, to the fourth floor from the first, second and third respectively. We also conduct a signal. Here, we conduct the same signal as here, to repeaters. And on all of them here, we conduct the same signal with two repeaters. This is our protection against accidental clicks. And here we put the transmitters and begin to enter. If it is on the ground floor, then there is a first floor. If on... What is our third floor? Under the table and the third floor. If on the fourth floor, stone and the fourth floor. That's why we were designated with colors, because it's easier now to enter the first floor, the second floor, the last floor, and the first floor above the table. That is, you look at what kind of wool we have here. Exhibit the same color. Second floor. This is if I take a signal from these contacts under the signal. That is, the elevator arrives at one of the contacts. And this signal is taken from us here, the wool is lowered, and the signal is transmitted to that one, transmitting the signal we need. Then we look, once again, for practice. This is our second floor. White wool denotes the first floor. To get to the second floor from the first floor. That is, this is from which floor we are going to which one. We call here, we call to the second floor, that is, the button and the second floor. We're calling for the second floor, from the first. This is our first one. From the first to the second floor, it should appear one up. One up is our white and yellow wool. From the third floor to the second, here is the blue third, yellow is our whole scheme, this is the second. From the third to the second, he should be released on one floor, that is, white, yellow on one floor. From the last floor, he has to make three down, that is, we have white and blue down, respectively. Blue, to the third floor from the first, he has to climb two up. Two up is white and blue. For him to go up to the third floor from the second, this is one time for us, so white and yellow. And from the fourth floor, it's down white and yellow. And to the last floor, here, from the first floor, he rises three up. These are two black wool. From the second three up, this is white blue wool. And from the third floor, it's white and yellow wool up its one floor. That's it, we have everything ready. It remains only to bring it here. Button, black wool, button and blue wool, and make it all a signal receiver. And here is where that signal should be received. Then, we put buttons on all these platforms, and behind these buttons, we put 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Now how do I find out where this elevator is going? Again, we need wool and buttons, because well, I do not know what frequencies you have there, but I have a button and wool. And look, this is our call to the second floor. This is responsible for the second floor. So we put the button and the second floor. Here on the third floor, the button the third floor, here on the fourth floor, the button on the fourth floor. It's very simple. That is, we look at which floor, what is called. From the second floor, we can call to the first, third floor, and fourth floor. From the third floor, we can also call to the first floor, to the second floor, and to the last floor. From the fourth, we can call on the first, on the second, and on the third. Don't forget the button. Also, do not forget to include all these on the transfer to receive the signal. Otherwise, we will not have signals transmitted here. And that's it. Our elevator is fully operational. That is, we enter the elevator, call the elevator to the second one. And he goes to the second one. We call the elevator on the third, we are on the fourth, he goes to the fourth. If we want to call from the fourth floor, for example, to the second, he also goes to the second. Also, if we are on the second one, I put it through this communication button, of course, yes, yes, I bet everything. We will call for the fourth, he will also go to the fourth. But we haven't finished the security system yet. How is it done? In the back we hold such a thing. We conduct a redstone from this, from this here, and here, we put a powered lever. And here we put a signal with the signal that was put on these transmitters here. And by the way, we have to turn on all these transmitters. Do not forget to transmit the signal of this transmitter here. And here we put a pulse repeater and set a delay of three seconds. It all depends on your elevator speed. You look at how much your elevator goes from the first to the last floor and put this delay here. 
and so you do on each floor. Let's do it again. We put up such a thing. Here we hold this table. Here we set the delay that you have from the first to the last floor. You count with your elevator speed, because you can make the elevator faster so slower. Here you put a powered lever, and here you put a signal transmission under the table, with a contact signal. That's what we put there. What are we getting? We're on our way, but it's not moving. We have to come first, and only then it has to move. That's right. Why is that? Because when we arrived, this thing can still twist a little bit. So, to make an elevator, let's say one floor more, let's say we want four floors again. So with each floor we add such a scheme for each floor and under each if one tooth and easily make an elevator for at least a hundred floors. Thus, our elevator goes to any floor, and while it is going, our stone signal contacts move away and cannot contact the cabin, which means that the buttons will not be pressed, which means nothing will break, even if you go and your friend calls the elevator on another floor, and how to make it so that we are shown which floor the elevator is on. It's even easier than it looks. I have already made such a diagram here, that is, I put a block here. I put this indicator under it, and here I put a transmitter, with two of these indicators in frequency. And so I put it on each floor. Everything is exactly the same. So how to do it? We have to put four gas indicators first and conduct a walkie-talkie signal. Most likely here we put 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We put one here, that's it. Now we spend 14 here, that is, one lower, here so, here so. What do we see? The lamp receives the signal level, which is supplied to our redstone. Now we replace this torch with a redstone signal transmitter and put it on the ground floor. Here, we also put a stone signal transmitter under the transmitter we receive, and this one transmits. Then we also replace it here. This one is on the second floor, and this one also has lamps. And so we do with all four. Do not forget to switch to signal reception. Accordingly, we had one burning here, which means we submitted the first floor here, and now it transmits one signal to this lamp, or rather to all these lamps. On all floors it is written that our elevator is on the first floor. Be sure to make sure that the signal is transmitted here, if it is not transmitted, just change the contact signal ration. If we call the elevator to the fourth, we will have zero written here, because we have no elevator anywhere yet, and we see that our elevator is on the third floor. Do you want me to make sure that the elevator as in real life remembers which floors were called and arrives there in turn then sign up thanks for watching guys bye everyone